Welcome to Doug Does Stuff. I'm Doug and today we're looking at calibration cubes. This is off of ls3d.com trying to figure out what the flow rate is that I want to use on my newly installed Sprite Pro extruder. So what we're going to do is we printed off a bunch of cubes here to try and figure out what is the flow rate that we want. Now we're looking for, I'm using my flashlight behind the camera here, so you can get different angles and see what we're looking at. So this is at 102%, and we're looking for extrusion issues, and you can see that we do have some extrusion issues going as I move the camera around, not the camera, huh? the light, all right? It looks good until you start zooming in, and then you can really see it. So that's at 102. Let's bring it at 100 here. This is at 100%. It is looking better. But I think still our lines are pretty far apart. I can get my pointer here. Lines from here. You can see there's like a little divot in the middle there, so that's how... Let's bring in 98, looking at 98. I think our lines are getting just a little bit closer together. All right, getting some good, getting better. Bring in 96, well that's a good angle, I'm just gonna leave that like that. You can see the humps, humps and valleys of the printer. And you can see there's a little less line shadow right through there. Cool. Bring in the next one. This is 95. And I really think we're starting to get even closer. You can see that I'm turning the light so it's exaggerating it. But these lines are getting a little bit lower. And these valleys are getting a little bit higher. Now 95 is not bad. We're going to put them off to the side. Let's bring in 94. Alright. Still through here. Nice and smooth. See how the difference here is looking at 95 and 94 together. 95 is on the right. Let's see if I can just zoom out just a hair. There we go. <clears throat> Get my light shining. 95 actually looks pretty good. See the same angle light a 94. It looks like we have a little more shadowing going on the lines than we do over here. Let's put those two sides. Let's bring in the next set. And I went all the way down to 90, but you can start seeing here. We're starting to see some extrusion issues pop up at 93. This is going to be under extrusion, so you're going to start seeing like little gaps and stuff show up. Let's zoom in. You see the difference in that? All right, move him out. This one is 92. I mean, it's definitely passable, but you can definitely see that the lines are further apart and the shadowing. And I can, I don't know if you can just hear that. You can hear the difference. And here's 90. <clears throat> and you can really see the exaggeration of the under extrusion going over there and uh, turn throughout the board there is issues there's some places that are nice but some places that are not let me turn off this all right cool so let me zoom out here so i think that my flow rate is somewhere between 94 and 95 and i think if i go either way I'll be just fine um, with either one of these. It's going to look great. It's just now a matter of which one do I think is going to look better. And that's how I figure out what my extrusion rate is. Flow, extrusion multiplier, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really thinking 95 here. And that's how I figure it out. And... I do that on different filaments, brand filaments. I don't do it on 
every different color filament. But if you're interested, go to ls3d.com, like three, yeah, ls3d.com, and I'll put a link down below, and uh, do your own. Hey, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, like button, make a comment. You're great. Later.